Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Yuri, and I wanted to show you something today, uh, and Happy New Year. Uh, I know New Year's is coming up, so Happy New Year, and I'm sorry I didn't ever say Merry Christmas or Happy, or Franza, or whatever y'all celebrate, but it's Christmas for me since I'm Christian, so, um, Merry Christmas to everyone, Happy New Year. But I want to show you something today, uh, and this is actually coming from a new mod. These guys are actually finally uh able to mod college hoops 2k8 on the playstation 3 and the playstation 3 emulator i don't think there's an xbox version yet but i know they're able to do it on ps3 so what i want to do um i want to be able to show you um the official twitter and this is reborn.sports.net. uh let me make this large on my screen on the other side because i can't see it okay <laughs> so this is reborn sports net um they have a discord here and i want to go to their discord and just go down some some areas of their discord to show you how to browse it so first you're going to have the announcement section which gives you all the latest updates how many teams they're adding the courts that they're completing and even tells you the jerseys um and it gives you four details and also all the links are here they just added a new link to where you can add xbox series x and playstation 5 buttons to the actual screen prompts now uh to make it look more next gen and then they added so many different things on here now on the side here this is for the ps3 emulator this is for the ps3 this is for the ps2 and so forth so this there's three different versions of the mod you come down here there's areas where you have the main chat where you can actually sit in here converse with people show pictures of stuff you have and stuff like that they have a link where you can actually upload your own clips and highlights they're real short clips you can put here almost kind of like instagram uh they have another section where you can link your twitch and your twitter and stuff i mean your twitch and your youtube streams and people can come in here and join your streams live and, and watch you play the game and then they got people who want to share their, their uh their dynasty streams and stuff like that so if you're playing a legacy or a dynasty you get you can post that here and share with people people can look at your feedback look at your scores and your stats uh, and then the last one down here you have a regular chat and then you have a support chat so be be careful careful where you post your questions so you have a chat for the ps3 and a chat for the ps2 the chat for the ps3 is sharing the emulator ps3 and the ps3 console then down here you have the college who's 2k um ps3 actual um actual support chat for the ps3 and you have a support chat for the emulator i'm sorry i got my mind went blank for a minute and then you have a ps2 version and then you have an area you can post screenshots and this community is very big and they're very you know good on communicating with people and um basically responding pretty quickly people in the, in the room who have similar issues or had issues before they are similar to your questions they'll join in and stuff like that but well yeah it once you go to twitter yourself to my twitter and you see a link you'll see something pop up down here in a second it tells you how to, my twitter handle where you can see my full profile all those people who be asking me inappropriate questions on YouTube. <laughs> you might want to read my profile here before being obnoxious and rude. Um, but I also post stuff here that I do not post on um, YouTube, including uh, upcoming videos and what I'm working on. Like I just said, I'm working on a college video now. Then I have the revamp, the arena football, the NCAA 6 mod, college mod, and I also have a bunch of other things. So definitely come here, follow me on Twitter, stay up to date. And I also upload uh, clips and gameplays of mods and stuff like that on here, including screenshots of future mods. So if you guys ever want to see some of my exclusive stuff, just come here and you'll see everything. I mean, I have all kind of gameplays on here. And you'll be able to watch it on here. So uh, my face scan in 2K and <laughs> stuff like that. So, uh, and I even had a screenshot of this college use mod when I first started working on it um it's gonna look different on the final version now so um stay tuned for that okay, too many times. so here here it is right here and this is actually um marsh madness this is not college chips okay so let's go ahead and get started on that and go from there all right let's go to the next part all right so now I want to show you how to get um, the actual official 2023-24 rosters with over 200 teams 
installed on your PlayStation 3. So the first thing you want to do, and I'm going to show this to you live. Um, I'm not going to show you how to, how to install the mod because there's already a tutorial video for that in the Discord. But I do want to show everybody how to do the rosters because I, I see a lot of complaints in the actual um, Discord complaining about the rosters not working. So the first thing you want to do is download the rosters. I've already downloaded them once, but I can go ahead and download them again uh, just, to, just for the video. And he even tells you here. He has accurate ratings. Um, he even have a lot of all the comfort of Americans in the low to the mid eighties. He, he changed the rating system to give it more balance based off how they played down. He got instructions here that tells you how to install the rosters, but a lot of people just don't comprehend. So I'm just gonna show you how simple it is to do the roster. So the first thing you wanna do is go to here and click and download the roster. That's the first thing you wanna do. So we're gonna download the rosters from Google. Now you see the roster is downloading and the next thing I want to do, I'm going to go to my folder where that roster downloaded. So here it is, PS3, you see I already downloaded it here, but we're going to open that folder. We're going to right click it with WinWar or ZZip, yeah, I mean a 7-Zip, you have so many different programs you can unzip it with. I'm just going to do WinWar, unzip the roster. Now what you want to do, you want to make a, an actual thumb drive. And when you do that thumb drive, make sure it's actually formatted at FAT32 because PS3 only registers FAT32. So when you go to the drive and you go to the properties and you try to format this drive, make sure it says PS3, make sure the format is FAT32. And that's what you always want to do. Uh, let me go back here. Whenever you try to format, make sure this is FAT32. Uh, there are programs that you can, if you don't have a hard drive, it won't format that way. They make programs and make you change it. I had to do a program to make mine go to FAT32 because I'm using Windows 10 Pro and none of my flash drives would go that route. But um, then you're going to go here, create a folder that says PlayStation 3. Click in it. Create a folder that says Save Data or Save Data, how you want to say it. Um, this is for the update. You don't really need this, but you do need the Save Data. And then here is the rosters. So this is my March Madness my roster and this is my latest college shoes roster. So what I'm going to do is delete both of these. And I'm going to put a new roster in here just to show you what to do. So you want to go back to this. Double click the inside of the folder. You see he already has everything in here for you. He has PS3. He has export and he also has save data. I don't care about the export further because I don't need that. But I do need the roster. So I'm going to do save data. Do not change the name of this folder, period. Do not. All the roster files are in here, but this is the guy who created the roster, so this is the name of the roster folder. Do not change that. I cannot stress that enough. Do not change the name of the roster. So now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to save data. I'm going to copy that into that folder, and there it is. My computer's fast, so it did in like two seconds, but uh in front actually one second so it's already here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to eject my thumb drive make sure you always push eject do not just pull out the the thumb drive actually say eject or to make an error message so let's click on this done and now we're going to go to the actual ps3 and i'm going to show you how to install this roster okay everyone so now that you have the roster on your thumb drive, what you want to do now is you want to go to the save utility for PS3, not PS2 or any of the other ones, go to the PS3 one, click on it, and what you want to do, I already have a roster on here, and it'll tell you what's here, that's my roster data, this right here is my game data, so I'm going to delete this one, this is the old roster, and now I'm going to put the 2023-24 that I got from Operation Sports, so here's my USB thumb drive. So I'm going to click on that. Here's my roster. So now you can see it, RUUT 6, 23, 24, version 2. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go copy. Boom. And then there it is. Now it's on my PlayStation 3. And it's mixed in with all my other saves. So here's another roster right here. This was 12, 19. Let's delete that one too. So I have quite a few of them in here that I actually did already. So we're going to delete all of these and only keep the new roster data. So 
Let me see what is this setting game records and my profile. You know what? Let's delete the game records too. So what I want to do is start over from scratch on my game records. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's there's certain mods. Whenever you install the mod, it changes a few things. So I'm gonna delete my settings as well, and I can reset them once I get back into the game. So let me boot up the game. Get to this real quick. I'll be right back. All right. So now we have the game booted up. Let's go ahead and let's boot that roster. See? And there's no error message. There's other people that was always saying, hey, do you want to, um, let's see if it'll sign me in a PSN. Look at the look at the auto saving record thing. It's actually pretty cool. They have all these cool icons they do and stuff like that, which I think are actually pretty cool. Um, let's go here. Let see, I think my profile, everything else should be saved. And let's look at these rosters real quick just to see if they're updated. Yep, and there you are. Brand new rosters. Uh, every conference. ACC looking good. Let's go to some other ones. Yeah, he did all 200 teams. I mean, that's pretty good. And the rosters are completed. I see he even has the third, the second, the juniors on there. Like, so much stuff. What I really want to show you is the arenas. So let's go to some arenas real quick. So we're going to do a, um, let's do a rivalry game for the ACC. And I just want to show you some of the courts real quick. Um, so you can see the details they actually changed it to. And let's see. So let's go to some actual basketball. So we can look at some of these new arenas they've been adding. So with the game audio, I just realized it wasn't playing. Of course, I'm not going to play as Duke, even though Wake Forest is also my rivals. Um, let's see, volume mixer. Yeah, still not playing my audio for some reason. Because it's playing on the TV, I can hear it behind me. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, it says it's playing. Hold on. Listen to capture device. There we go. And I wanted to show you this actually uh, firsthand. It's actually pretty legitimate. And just look at the details in the arena. Oh, he wouldn't even get the rebound. And notice they got an ESPN bar scoreboard now. Uh, with ESPN presentations. So even when they show like the highlights and stuff like that. It's all ESPN. Oh, wow. And I love the way they did this court. Like, they did such a good job. And if you ever played the original college shoes, you know this court is not like this. Wow. Now he hit that with, while, while being guarded. And he got a BS foul on him. Yeah, they also have it to where um Duke really knows how to put the ball in the basket. They have a great offensive mindset and can put points up in a hurry. Number 10. Dishes to the right side. Number 21 catches it. Left wing. 
Oh my gosh. These guys jumpers are terrible. Either that or I haven't played this in so long. Left him open again. I'm losing 9 and 0, guys. And look at the icons under the feet, too. Nope. This team sucks. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to a different team. Give me one second, and I am going to another team. Alright, guys, so I thought I would go with Connecticut uh, and Villanova since Villanova Court also has been redone. And just to see how it turns out. It's a, it's, a, it's a much smaller court too, so you get to see how they did some of the details and even some of the smaller courts. Look at the advertisements on the banner, where they're even advertising the Discord, all these little major advertisements. Uh, March Madness, they got the jersey numbers from different places on there. Nice. And it's still all tied up. Zero. Moore. Zero. Behind the arc. But gets the board inside. Wow. I like uh Connecticut Huskies uh jerseys. They did a good job on their jerseys. Even the shorts got like a lot of detail on it. What do you have for us, Tracy? Guys, earlier today I caught up with the head coach. He told me Dude, that get the open. Of the team on the other end of the court is a huge concern. He said we have no excuses tonight. They have such great team speed that if we don't hustle back on oh, wow. every trip, we'll be shooting layups on us all game. Thank you, Tracy. Number 11 has it. Top of the key. Pass it. Takes it up. Wow. They are actually abusing me no matter what. I hate playing. I, you know, I told you before how I got this on harder settings, too. So. Yeah, it was my fault. I passed out on accident. I pressed the wrong button. Um, I was trying to do icon passing like this. And I pressed the wrong button and he's passed the ball back out. And I was, try I was trying to shoot at the same time. Hey, that's a big dude. By six. Seeing Villanova play, I can't help but think of their 1985 NCAA title. Talk about a Cinderella story. Seeing Villanova play, I can't help but think of their 1985 NCAA title. He just said it twice. The commentator just repeated the exact line for line. Stop doing that. Left wing. Nice. That was very lucky, but I'm going to take it. There we go. Ah, uh, that's my fault. I was actually trying to do icon passing again, and I keep pushing the wrong button. Stay on him. Oh, wow. But they can shoot threes on me like it's nothing. Zero catches it. Right wing. Moore gets it on the free throw line. Zero lets it go. Moore gets the rebound. Nice. What I really want to show the details before I get off here because I can play this all day. It's just how beautiful they did the jerseys. Like, that's just really good detail. I mean, that's just really, really good detail. That's nice.
You even got the uh, the Biggie's logo on it, the Nike stitching. Remember how bad this game looked in the past? Like it was really hard to get um uh, to get this kind of detail. And I noticed they did there as too. So yeah, they got the Nike logos. Also got the Biggie stuff uh, logo on it. Let me see if I can get another one here. But you can actually see the stitching in this one. Look at this. You can see the stitching in the jerseys. They have so much detail, man. That's that's pretty nice. Oh, so they also did the hair, too. Uh, I don't know who modified the hair, but good job on whoever did that because the hair and the braids and dreads that they put in here actually move. Like, they actually have motion in their hair. So whoever did that, shouts out to him as well. Anyway, this is Yuri at JB Sports or Yuri B Sports, and I will talk to you guys later. And if you want to see more, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about the video. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you.